Today I want to show you how to make your own stain to take a board from this color to this gorgeous deep black. And that's coming right up. Knock knock. Who's there? Do girl. For anybody who's ever tried finishing furniture, there's a lot of colors of stains and it can get a little bit overwhelming, but I've discovered one that I can make myself in my own kitchen. You can make it too. It's really easy and it's an ebonizing stain. So it, it makes this beautiful, rich, uh, almost black color and you just make it with stuff you have lying around the house. So want to know how? First of all, let me explain. I really developed this myself out of um, a, a lot of irritation with different stains. I kept trying to get a, an aging stain that would look really nice. So I tried different compounds. This is vinegar and steel wool. Um, this was copper. I soaked pennies in vinegar. I kept experimenting all the time. The secret is it comes down to tea, good old fashioned tea, the kind that you have in your kitchen. I actually get this stuff online because it's the blackest tea I can find. It's a Assam breakfast tea from Indonique.com and it looks like this really intense little beads of tea and you boil it into a slurry and you need to boil it for probably about half an hour till it reduces and it gets really, really strong. And then you just stroke it on uh, bare furniture to give it a lovely honey color. This has had one coat. The nice thing about tea is it actually darkens as the wood ages. It doesn't fade. So you can get a really nice, uh, you know, like Canadiana kind of honey pine look. This side of the, this is untreated in the middle. This has had three coats of tea. Why am I keeping adding tea? Is it because I like the color? No, it's because I want to ebonize it. I want it to go really black. That's this color. So what do I add to it? I add to it my own homemade rusty nail stain. Doesn't that just look like something that sat on the shelf at the back of the science class? I know. So what this is, is it's a bunch of old rusty nails soaked in pickling vinegar, and it, it just produces a, a really kind of a gross looking rusty stain. You just brush it on and it interacts with the tannins in the wood and it deepens the color. I kept working with it, but it wasn't dramatic enough for me. And I thought, well, what can I use to increase the tannin content in wood? Well, it, then I thought, well, tea, that's full of tannins. This is three coats of tea. So what happens when you brush a little of the rusty nail stain onto this? Let's show you. It interacts chemically and creates the ebonizing effect. So see, that's going to go darker and darker and darker over the next few minutes. I think it's very dramatic and quite beautiful. So now you know, if you ever want something to go really black, I worked on a, a little lap desk that I made for myself that I ebonized, and it looks gorgeous. And because the stain is soaked right into the wood fibers, it doesn't fade or chip or peel. It just, it's right in there. The actual wood fibers themselves have changed color. Quite dramatic. Don't you think that's lovely? So now you know. Just saying. Do 